Since the dawn of time, the contributions of women have often been overshadowed by their male counterparts and the achievements of black women even more so. Yet, hidden beneath the layers of historical biases and systemic obstacles lies a remarkable truth. Black women have played an integral role in shaping the world we inhabit today. In a world that often turned a blind eye to their potential, black women have risen to prominence as inventors, problem solvers, and pioneers. In this video, we will shine a light on the stories of unsung heroines who altered the trajectory of human advancement. We will celebrate the brilliance of those who developed life-saving medical techniques, revolutionized the way we communicate, and engineered novel solutions to everyday challenges. Before we get right into the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep informed of our eye-opening black narrative. Number 18, Home Security System. The 1960s were one of the most dangerous times in American history, and being a black woman in a time of racial discrimination, Marie Van Britten Brown was left in a vulnerable state. Her husband worked odd hours, and she felt scared being alone at home at night. Unfortunately, their neighborhood had a high crime rate, and Marie was concerned about the slow response time of the police. In response to this, Marie came up with the first home security system when she was 40 years old as a way to make her home safer. At first, Marie's idea was simple. She made four small windows and a movable camera. There were also TV screens and microphones. The camera could look out of different windows. By using the TV screens, Marie could see who was at her door without actually having to be there physically or open the door. The microphones were also important as they allowed Marie to communicate with the person outside without having to face them directly or open the door. Marie Van Britten Brown's invention of the home security system has had a significant impact on the security systems we have today. Her innovative idea paved the way for further developments and improvements in security systems that are still used today. Number 17, the fiber optic cable. From a young age, Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson had a thing for science and math, which eventually led her to pursue a degree in physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. She went on to earn a PhD in nuclear physics from MIT in 1973, becoming the first African-American woman to earn a doctorate from the prestigious institution. After school, she taught and did research at different universities, including the faculty of Rutgers University, where she conducted research on theoretical physics and solid state physics. One of her coolest inventions happened when she worked at Bell Laboratories. She had an idea about how to send information using light, like a super fast flashlight. This idea turned into something called fiber optic cable. This special cable can send messages really far without losing them, like when you talk on the phone or use the internet. Unlike traditional copper cables, fiber optic cables do not suffer from signal degradation, making them a more reliable and efficient means of communication. Dr. Jackson's research on fiber optic technology laid the foundation for the development of modern fiber optic communication systems, which have become an integral part of our daily lives. Her work also paved the way for further advancements in the field of optical communication including the development of lasers and other photonic devices. Because of her work, we now have super-fast internet and can talk to people far away without any problems. She would receive numerous awards and honors throughout her career, including the National Medal of Science, the highest scientific honor bestowed in the United States. She has also been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and the National Academy of Engineering. Number 16, Laser FACO. In the years before 1985, folks who had cataracts faced tough times. Their vision could be really cloudy or even pitch black for decades. Back then, the only option for fixing this was a risky surgery using a mechanical grinder. But then came along Dr. Patricia Bath, a well-known ophthalmologist and a notable black inventor. She spent her life working on ways to help folks with vision problems. She strongly believed that everyone should be able to see clearly. So, in 1985, 
she came up with something amazing, a special tool and a new way to remove cataracts. Dr. Bath's invention was called the laser phaco probe. It made cataract surgery way better and safer. Before, doctors had to do the surgery by hand with a mechanical grinder, which wasn't always successful. Thanks to Dr. Bath's laser phaco probe and the new surgery method, many people who couldn't see well because of cataracts for up to 30 years got their sight back. She truly made a big difference and helped a lot of people see clearly again. Number 15, amputee self-feeding device. At the age of 37, while at Bronx Hospital in New York, Bessie Blount invented an electric self-feeding device for amputees. She used plastic, hot water, and basic tools like a file, ice pick, hammer, and dishes to create a prototype. The device had a tube to carry bites of food to the patient's mouth. The patients would bite down on the tube and then the next portion of food would dispense to the mouthpiece from the attached machine. This allowed patients to control how much they would eat without assistance from others. Today, she is known for pioneering the first electric device for feeding amputees. Number 14, VoIP technology, voice over internet protocol, VoIP, also known as IP telephony, is a way to make phone calls using the internet instead of traditional phone lines. Imagine talking on the phone, but instead of using phone cables, you're using the same internet connection you use for browsing and streaming. This cool idea was thought up by African-American inventor Marion Croak, who wanted to make the internet even more awesome. She made the basic rules for VoIP, and now it's a big deal for things like working from home and video meetings. Over the years, VoIP as technology has continued to evolve. Experts say that in the future, most of our chats will happen over the internet using VoIP. Number 13, leprosy treatment injection. Alice Augusta Ball was a trailblazer who became the first African-American woman to earn a chemistry degree from the University of Hawaii in 1915. With her skills, she focused her research on Chalmugra oil and its effects on people with leprosy. She figured out a method to isolate the fatty acid components and created a water-soluble compound from the oil. This led to the creation of the first treatment that could be injected into leprosy patients. Her injection helped many people for more than 30 years until better drugs came along. Alice Ball's work was a big step forward in medical research and brought relief to a lot of people who were suffering from leprosy. Number 12, LinkLine Software. In January 2006, Ms. Bashan became the first African-American woman to hold a patent for a software invention. After finishing her studies at the University of Houston, Bashan worked for an insurance company where she managed cases related to equal employment opportunities, EEO, a principle about treating everyone fairly when it comes to jobs, no matter their race or background. While at the insurance company, she suggested having an outside group to check EEO to see if things were fair, but the idea was rejected. So she decided to start her own EEO management company to make sure jobs were being offered fairly. To make the task of retrieving and storing EEO information easier, Bashan and her cousin Donnie Moore developed the LinkLine software. The patented software, LinkLine, now known as Nalika, is a web-based application for EEO claims intake and tracking claims management, document management, and numerous reports. Number 11, TATB spot test. The TATB spot test by Betty Wright is perhaps one of the most impressive inventions by an African-American woman that remains relatively unknown. Harris received a patent in 1986 for her invention of a spot test for triamino trinitrobenzene, TATB. It allowed scientists to test sampled materials for the presence of TATB a highly durable explosive used in applications that require extreme safety, such as nuclear weapons. In Harris's test, if a material contained TATB, it would turn the testing liquid a telltale bright orange color. Her invention was a predecessor for the TATB spot tests in use today. Her test allowed for rapidly detecting explosives in the field, greatly improving safety in various industries. The Federal Department of Homeland Security also uses the test to screen for nitroaromatic explosives. Number 10, folding bed. 
In 1855, Sarah Good, an African-American inventor, created a famous invention for ultimate comfort, the folding bed. This innovative bed inspired the modern Murphy bed we use today. Being a furniture store owner, she saw a business opportunity and took a bold step. Hearing about cramped living spaces in Chicago apartments, Sarah Good wanted to offer a solution. She came up with a bed that could fold up and disappear, similar to the Murphy bed we're familiar with. Picture a cabinet that could turn into a desk with spaces for writing supplies. Sarah's aim was to make the bed easy to lift and secure when folded, while also offering extra support in the middle when unfolded. In 1855, Sarah Good became one of the earliest African-American women to secure a patent for her ingenious folding bed invention. Number nine, tissue holder, Mary Beatrice Davidson. Kenner, an innovator, teamed up with her sister to create a clever solution for your restroom visits. In the 1970s, they came up with a nifty toilet paper holder that earned them a shared patent. The goal was simple, say goodbye to the hassle of grabbing the end of the toilet paper roll. You know that annoying struggle when the paper is stuck to the roll? Their invention fixed that. Now, their creation always keeps the toilet paper ready and within reach. No more fuss, just easy access to a fresh roll whenever you need it. Number eight, illusion transmitter. African-American inventor Valerie Thomas would devise one of the most amazing inventions of the 20th century that still has applications today. She is credited as the inventor of the illusion transmitter, a device that would send three-dimensional images across a distance, making them look as if they are in front of the mirror. In simple terms, imagine your television could project the on-screen image directly into your living room as a three-dimensional image. In operation, concave mirrors are set up on both ends of the transmission to produce the illusion. The net effect of this is an optical illusion of a three-dimensional image that looks real on the receiving end. This brilliant innovation placed Thomas among the most prominent black inventors of the 20th century. NASA continues to use her technology and is exploring ways to use it in surgical tools and possibly television and video. Number seven, clothes ringer. Back in 1888, Ellen Eglin invented her groundbreaking device, a special machine for squeezing water out of wet clothes known as a clothes wringer. It had two rollers and a handle. People put their wet clothes in between the rollers and turn the handle and squeeze out the excess water instead of having to do so manually. This made the clothes dry faster when hung up. Although the design was perceived as a popular product well into the 20th century, Eglin received almost no credit or financial success of her own invention. Due to being black at a time when racial discrimination was at its peak, she was forced to sell the rights of the invention for just $18 to an unknown white agent. Eglin's ringer could go on to inspire the design for mops that we still use today. Number six, pastry fork. Before the pastry fork came along, making pastry was a tough job. You had to knead the dough by hand, which made your arms ache and cause discomfort. But then Anna Mangan had a brilliant idea, the pastry fork. This little tool changed everything. It made making pastry much easier and didn't need as much effort. The pastry fork wasn't just for pastry though. It could do a bunch of things like beating eggs, making butter, mashing potatoes, and mixing salad dressings. But the best part, it made kneading dough a breeze. This smart invention made life better for lots of people. And guess what? It even led to more cool tools like electric mixers, that we still use today. Number five, gas furnace. Back in the early 1900s, people didn't have the fancy heating systems we have now. They had to burn coal or wood to keep warm. An African-American inventor named Alice Parker didn't think a simple fireplace was enough for chilly winters in New Jersey. So she came up with a gas furnace that could heat up the whole house. Her invention had special tubes that carried warm air everywhere. What's impressive is that each room could have its own temperature, like a hot knob for one room and a less hot knob for another. This made it really comfortable. Later, in 1935, other smart inventors added a fan and pipes, 
to make the warm air move even better around the house. Today, thanks to Alice Parker's clever thinking, we have even better ways to keep our homes cozy. You might have seen those little boxes on the wall that you can set to the temperature you like. Those are like the grandchildren of Alice Parker's invention, making sure we stay warm and comfy. Number four, the bed rack. Henrietta Bradbury came up with a clever idea to freshen up clothes and sheets that had been worn or slept in. She invented a special rack that you could attach to the end of your bed. This rack had bars where you could hang your shirts, pants, and other clothes. When you put your clothes on the rack, the air could circulate around them and make them smell fresh again. The cool thing about this rack was that it could easily fold up and be stored when you didn't need it. It had a pedal that you could step on to make it open up or collapse down. You would attach the rack to the legs of your bed using clamps. These clamps held the rack in place and there were extra parts that you could step on to make the rack expand. Number three, gong and signal chair. In 1888, Miriam E. Benjamin was awarded a patented for an impressive invention called the gong and signal chair for hotels. Imagine a chair with a special feature, a little button on the side. When you press it, a bell rings and a red ball pops up on the back of the chair. This helps the hotel staff know when a guest needs something without the guest having to shout or clap their hands. It was like a clever way to ask for help. This chair idea saved money because hotels didn't need as many waiters running around. Her invention even influenced the way airplanes have buttons for passengers to call flight attendants today. When awarded the patent for this invention, Miriam became the second African-American woman to get a patent. Number two, improved ironing board. Sarah Boone was born in 1832 to parents who were enslaved in New Bern, North Carolina. She got married when she was 15 to James Boone, who is said to have helped her become free. They had eight children and moved to New Haven, Connecticut. There, Sarah worked as a seamstress, teaching her daughters the same skill. After her husband passed away in 1876, she continued working and taking care of her home. During those times, it was against the law to teach African Americans how to read and write. But Sarah Boone managed to learn to read when she was around 40 years old. Sarah saw that people needed a better way to iron clothes like corsets, which were popular back then. So, in 1891, she applied for a patent for a new kind of ironing board. Her patent was approved in 1892. Boone's ironing board was narrow, with edges being curved to correspond to the outside and inside seams of a sleeve, and was an improvement over prior ironing tables. Through the use of her curved board, it became possible to press the inside and outside seams of sleeves and garments in a manner that was not previously possible. Number one, sanitary belt, Mary Beatrice Davidson. Kenner came up with a great idea in 1857 that changed how women managed their menstrual hygiene. Before her invention, most women used cloth pads during their menstrual cycle, but Mary invented the sanitary belt it was helpful invention because it had a waterproof pocket and could be adjusted to fit comfortably. She also made other helpful things like a holder for toilet paper, a back scrubber for the shower, and a tray for carrying things on a walking frame. Even though she had many good ideas that we still use today, Mary Kenner, who was a black woman back then, is often forgotten when we talk about important inventors. The legacy of inventions attributed to black women is a testament to their extraordinary resilience, creativity, and determination. Throughout history, these remarkable women have shattered the barriers of racial discrimination and overcome the challenges of limited access to quality education and resources. Despite facing adversities that would deter many, they forged ahead with their innovative ideas, leaving an indelible mark on society. The inventions that owe their existence to black women stand as concrete proof that innovation knows no bounds. From Madam C.J. Walker's revolutionary hair care products to Marie Van Britten Brown's home security system, these inventors defied societal norms 
and made their mark on a world that often sought to marginalize them. It's important to recognize that these women did not merely create products. They ignited a spark of inspiration that transcended generations, showing that determination and ingenuity can flourish even in the harshest of environments. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos to let more people know the truth about blacks and to hear their own part of the narratives. Thanks for watching.